In this video we are gonna talk about 3 things related to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. First one is as you all expect the fastest and deadliest build in Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's completely made out of free in-game items and it's really the fastest build in the game. No matter if you are using paid items or not, you are not gonna find other build that's faster than this one. Second, I'm gonna share with you some tips everyone should know about the stats and perks cause there is something about it that I'm sure at least 80% of you don't know. And I just found out few weeks ago, so of course I want to share that with you now when I'm 100% sure how all works. The third one is more related to the subscribers of the channel, so if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now, it's free and it will be related to you as well. A hundred likes on this video will be as always very appreciated and let's go into the fastest and deadliest build in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. For this build you are gonna need complete Mentor's Armor set, which has a perk to increase your attack after critical hits with two pieces it stacks up to 5 times and you can get up to plus 20 attack for 35 seconds. And with 5 pieces you get additional increase to speed up to plus 10. In the diamond rune slot on the mentor's chest piece you should use brigantine rune which increases your speed when surrounded by 3 enemies for plus 3, when surrounded by 4 plus 6 and for 5 or more enemies plus 9 speed. On the two circus slots I prefer to use feeder runes as well as on mentor's cloak where I am using another 3 great feeder runes and it should reduce my weight for 7.5 but instead it reduces only for 4. As I am not a fan of defensive runes in this game I am using 9 great warrior runes on the rest 3 pieces of mentor's armor set in order to increase melee damage for plus 18. In the right hand I'm using the fastest dagger in the game, that's Yingling Dagger, with the original speed of 82 and it can reach up to 108 speed, which is also the max speed in the game. And before you think I don't know what I'm doing, because I'm not using all available speed perks in the game, have patience, cause I'll explain you later on. Yingling Dagger has a perk to increase melee damage for plus 15 after a dodge for 2.5 seconds, which is totally fine, because this build is so light, you are gonna be able to dodge a lot more than with some other heavier builds. In the diamond rune slot I am using Overwhelmed Perfection rune for plus 6.7 critical damage when surrounded by 3 enemies, plus 13.3 when surrounded by 4, and plus 20 when surrounded by 5 or more enemies, and 2 great runes of haste for plus 3.4 speed. In the left hand you should use Copy's Dagger with the original speed of 81 and it can go up to 107 which is max for this one and it's the second fastest weapon in the game. The perk of this weapon allows you to heal 10% of your health after each critical hit which is why you should use Overwhelmed Death Rune for plus 3.3 critical chance when surrounded by 3 enemies, plus 6.7 when surrounded by 4 and plus 10 critical chance when surrounded by 5 or more enemies. And the bonus stays active 10 seconds when not surrounded by 3 or more enemies. On this dagger we have another 2 great runes of haste for another plus 3.4 speed. From the bows the perfect one is Viper Bow, because of its perk to increase critical chance after each hit, you can also activate it by hitting with your daggers and it increases critical chance for plus 30. Once you have stacked 10 times, what you can do in no time considering that you are using fastest build in the game. In major slot you should use light death rune which increases critical chance for plus 14 in this case cause everything we are wearing is light equipment and I am using 2 great runes of finesse for additional plus 6.6 .6 critical chance which makes in total of plus 60 critical chance when all perks are activated and it means that with regular 113 critical chance of all maxed out daggers you can have up to 173 critical chance with this build. I'm sure all of you know that this 
don't mean 173% chance, cause this would mean that you have no need of additional perk in order to boost your critical chance and you would have over 100% chance with all daggers and spears to do a critical hit every time. So I decided to spend some time to find out which calculations Ubisoft used for critical chance and after I used only Yingling Dagger with its normal 84 critical chance without any skill point spent in the skill tree, I came up with these results. From 1000 hits I did on this dummy, which are by the way great to use for testing, I had 86 critical hits, which is almost exactly as the critical chance from this weapon. So in order to have 100% chance on critical hit, your critical chance needs to be on 1000. Which is of course not possible in this game, but you can boost your critical chance to something around 200, which is 20% chance to do a critical hit and that means every 5th hit should be a critical one on average. Now here is a quick tip about the speed boost I mentioned earlier in this video. If you watch this video carefully you should know that I mentioned that the fastest dagger in the game, the Yingling dagger, can be boosted up to 108 speed with only 2 perks and 4 great runes of haste. Now what happens when you add some more perks or runes which increases your speed is that you are not getting higher speed than 108. Like in this case I am using another 2 diamond runes for speed increase and another great rune of haste which should increase for at least 15, but instead it remains on 108. So you don't want to use more speed boost for this or some other builds cause this would be wasting of the rune slots. Here on the end screen you can see some other builds I made for you and see you in the next one.